Hi guys, and welcome back to another video, and welcome to page 5 of the Sketchbook Doodle series. I'm actually really happy from the response, or like the comments from the previous video, saying that a lot of you guys actually really enjoy this little series, so maybe I won't make this into a mini-series anymore, I'll just continue this as an ongoing series. And reason being is I uh, really like the fact that you guys enjoy putting this video in the background while you draw as well so it's like a feeling of drawing along with me and i always enjoy that kind of i don't know that kind of a feeling it's like nice when even when i'm streaming on instagram um when you guys tell me like oh i'm drawing along with you like it's always nice to draw with other people even if it is through a screen but today um like i said in last week's video that i most likely will be drawing vernon and dk so if you guys don't know, Dogem and Vernon's birthdays are both today. Um, I guess it'll be in Korea, it'll be the day before, or I guess it'll be yesterday. Um, but yeah, I did something very similar to what I did for Dino's birthday. So using similar colors, the reason why I showed all my pencil crowns at the beginning was because I wasn't set on any specific colors that I wanted to use for this specific spread um but i decided to go with the same colors i used for dino so using that pink and that really cute kind of purpley blue color i'll probably put the color names um on the screen like when i showed the pencil crown so that you guys can know what colors i specifically use so like the other video i am also using my same pilot um colored eno pencil in the color blue and I do apologize that the, the clip that you just watched right now was very overexposed. Um, I did turn down the exposure in the next few clips when I'm sketching so you guys can see. Um, because I tend to sketch, like, sketch, sketch <laughs> really lightly. And because the color Eno itself doesn't get that dark, it was hard to see. Hopefully you guys can see my sketch now. But, um, what was I talking about? Mm. I guess I was going to be talking about materials. Probably materials. Yeah, probably materials. So, Pilot Kakuno Fountain Pen is what I'm going to be using. Or you guys can see that I'm using that to do the line art or like the sketchier lines and stuff. Uh, so, the weird thing about this fountain pen, like as much as I do love this fountain pen, and I'm sorry if you can hear my laptop fan, but... Um, yeah, this fountain pen, for some reason, when it was low on ink, and it was basically, I don't know if it's dispensing more ink or something wrong with the ink flow of that, the ink barely dried properly when I was drawing my OC Masaki. Um, so every time I laid down ink, even after like maybe 10 seconds of it being on the paper, if I put my hand on it, it would like immediately smudge. And I was scared to work on this spread because... If it was going to be smudging, I didn't want to be using pencil crayon because then it would be smudging like quite a bit. But then the pen doodles look very plain if I don't do anything with color. Unless I did a lot of rendering and detailing with the pen. Because I prefer things to either be in blocks of color or like something just super detailed. I'll put up something that I usually like to do in my sketchbooks if I do have the time to because I do like to render a lot so I'll put up a Prismacolor poly erase pencil doodle of Chani and I just had I just like went to town of rendering his jacket <laughs> but it was a lot of fun but yeah so I tested it out when I was drawing Masaki and everything was like smudging maybe I'll show up a picture where like different smudging happened when I even put my hand on the paper and I accidentally picked up the ink with my hand or um, when I'm using the pencil crown, it would smudge like immediately, which wasn't great because it made Masaki look very muddy in the one sketch that I did of him. But after testing it and refilling the ink with a different ink so that the ink barrel was pretty much like 80% full, for some reason the pen started to, like the ink started to dry quicker, which is kind of weird, but who knows? <laughs> who knows what's the issue? So... Usually for like these kinds of sketch pages, I usually don't plan them out. I usually just start in one corner and move across the page and 
just having references of the members so using like waist up headshots um some close-ups maybe back shots um or like full body uh, but for this one, I did have an image in my head of how I wanted to do the layout. So I did want to, I altered a photo of DK and Vernon, which had Mingyu in it, but they were doing the home kind of symbol, I guess, the main move for home, but I changed it to a heart so that it's a little bit cuter. <laughs> um, so I text on the top and the bottom as long, like, as well as along their shoulders. And I knew I wanted to put them together in the center and then either split the pages between like this side would be Dogyam and this side would be Vernon, which is what I ended up doing. But another thing I could have done was I was going to like do a lot smaller doodles that surrounded them, but I thought it'd be look like it would look a little too cluttered. So I just left it as two headshots per side. And I think they turned out pretty cute. Um usually I don't like, like I mentioned, I don't usually like to plan out these kinds of spreads because it's just like mindless doodling usually. But because, I don't know, something in my brain was like, you have to make these guys look decent, at least the ones in the center, because like I don't want to butcher them for their birthday. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Mm, recently, I've also been playing around with a water brush, so a very small water brush with a little bit of diluted fountain pen ink, and I've been using that to do a few doodles as well, and maybe I'll do that for maybe the next um, sketch page doodle video. I'm not sure if that's going to be the next week's video or I'm going to be doing a painting because I would want to get back into painting, but God dang it. <laughs> Webtoons and comics take up such like a, like a large amount of your time. Cause today is actually Friday when I'm doing this voice recording. So today's the 15th and I'm not done the, like all the frames, is it frames? Panels, I guess panels for the Webtoon, which sucks because I'm supposed to upload it tomorrow. But I have four left. Hopefully I can get that done before I start streaming today. But yeah, that's enough about me complaining. Another thing that, I don't know if people do this, I know I do it a lot because I like to keep my hand on the paper or on the desk or some flat surface that's the same level as what I'm drawing on. Um, probably because like I prefer to get a lot of control. I can sketch like with your hand off the paper because I've done a lot of um, gesture studies or any kind of drawing that you had to do standing up on a easel so you couldn't exactly rest your hand on the paper unless you want to put your whole arm up against that easel but i don't know do you guys put something under your hand so it's on the same level as your sketchbook or like if your um, drawing surface is slightly raised and your hands off the surface do you put something underneath so that it's more easier for you to control i don't know just random thoughts <laughs> so Working on the last doodle. I do apologize for this one. I didn't finish, oh, I guess it is finished. The coloring portion of his hair was cut off because I wasn't paying attention to the amount of space I had left on my memory card. So that was cut off and I know it's like really abrupt at the end, but I don't know. I, feel, I still think he came out pretty cute. But yeah, um, so next video will probably be either a sketchbook page sketchbook doodle page six or it'll be a watercolor video still thinking because there is something i want to paint which is part of a another series um that i wanted to do but i had to put on hold because a bunch of other projects and february is like the busiest month i believe for like carrots because you have well, i guess it depends like if you want to celebrate like uh, the lunar new year's as well as the carrot day i guess there's dino's birthday there's dogem and vernon's birthday there's like a lot of things just going on in february and there's like only one thing i guess 17 ish related that happens in march which is busak soon's debut um anniversary so yeah so i'm gonna show you guys some close-ups of the sketches that i did in this the spread let me know what you guys like to draw in your sketchbooks, like actually. Do you guys do a lot of studies? Do you guys do a lot of like mindless doodling? Do you guys write notes down? Do you guys write 
I don't know, poetry or something? Do you use it more as a journal rather than a sketchbook? I'm just kind of curious because I know a lot of people are like, <clears throat> how do you make your sketchbooks so like aesthetically pleasing or like they look so organized? And I don't aim for it to do that, like be that way. It's just how my mind works when I'm just mindlessly doodling. So yeah, I'll talk a bit more about that maybe next week, but uh, thank you very much for watching and I hope you guys did enjoy watching me do some more sketch page doodles um, for the past, like this week and last week. So I'll talk to you guys next week and thank you very, thank you very much for watching. Bye!